Now, every time I see a rig just like this, you know what it reminds me of? When I was a kid, I used to watch The Maury Show, and every time you found out you are not the father, the cameraman would not only run out of the studio with a gigantic camera set up, but he also carried it all on his shoulder. And I decided, yeah, I really want that. What's going on guys, it's Kofi Aboa, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Sony FX6 shoulder mount kit. Now this is gonna be great for commercial shoots, broadcasts, documentaries, or when you need to chase somebody out after a paternity test. Let's get it. All right, so Tilted did send me a lot of this stuff, but this isn't a paid review. They just sent me to check this guy out. Now I really feel like Tilted did think of everything when they were making this, including the back pad that comes in the case over here. Now, not only is it going to be extendable, so you could actually take this apart and kind of loosen it, and I could extend that for as long as your shoulder is or wherever is comfortable for your arm to shoulder ratio. But you also get this little thing at the top here where you can decide whether or not the Ari Rosette mounted rod could actually move from side to side. And whatever you wanna do that's comfortable, whether you're right handed or left handed, this actually works really well. Now we're really early in the video, but I've already found my favorite part of this entire shoulder rig. But it is gonna be the plate that goes on the shoulder rig itself in order for you to mount your camera on it. Now the reason why I like this so much is because if you put the plate forwards or if you put the plate vertically coming down, that's actually going to be your Manfrotto attachment. So if you have a Manfrotto type of tripod, you could actually use this on here and on your tripod. If you use Arca Swiss, you could actually turn this to the side and you could actually insert your Arca Swiss plate in here instead. That means there's a vast majority of tripods that this actually works on in order for you to be more versatile when you're on set to go from sticks to a shoulder mounted system. Tilta even included the plate for it as well. So if you have it up on this side, this is going to be your Manfrotto setup. But if you wanna turn it upside down, this is going to be your Arca setup that's going to fit on this top plate. Now that plate that comes with the shoulder rig system also has a 15 millimeter rod input as well. So if you're someone that uses a follow focus, you could actually use that on a rod system to put your focus monitor on. Now the plate and the shoulder pad does come with these Ari Rosette extension arms. Now these arms aren't just for fashion, they're also functional as well because they can extend and they have quarter 20 mounting points. So you could actually put on a monitor or other accessories on your actual kit. On top of that, they're also gonna come with these Ari Rosette handles as well to make sure that things are comfortable while you're operating on a shoulder rig. Now, until Tilta sent me these little Ari Rosette adapters, I actually wasn't really sure what they're gonna be used for. And we're gonna see them later on in this video. But not only is this going to adapt if you take off one of the handles on those arms, but also it gives you a little bit extra room when you wanna mount on accessories on the Tilta Ari Rosette arms. Now the shoulder rig kit also does have this little back pad at the back as well that's also adjustable to make sure that things fit well on your shoulder. Now I don't really know too much about shoulder rig mounts, but I feel like having something that's comfortable on the back of your shoulder rig is just as important as making sure that it's comfortable on your shoulder itself. And this might actually help fix in the position a little bit better. Also what I did notice about this little back plate is it's spring loaded. So it does have a little bit of give either way just to make sure it's that much more comfortable for whatever you're gonna be doing in your movements. All right, so you guys are probably wondering about the Sony FX6 camera package that I'm gonna use on a shoulder mounted rig. And to be honest, a lot of these are familiar accessories, but we're gonna talk about them nonetheless. I'm actually using the vertical mount that goes with the Tilta Advance cage to add an extra cold shoe and not to shoot Instagram stories and TikToks because we know you guys love that so much. Now with the extra cold shoe that's on this kit, I'm able to mount on my Hollyland Mars 4K and my Sennheiser G4 lavalier mic, which is my lav mic of choice while using the Sony FX6. And both those are gonna go into my audio top handle, which honestly at this point has become kind of a meme because I have it so banged up and it's so broken down. If you guys want me to get another one, you're probably just gonna have to go to my digital store and fund it yourselves because I'm not buying a new one. Now in terms of glass I'm gonna be using, I'm rocking with the Sigma Art 24 to 70 F 2.8. A lens you don't really hear a lot about on this channel, but when I need to do something run and gun and I need something with more flexibility, 24 to 70 is pretty much the gold standard in terms of a focal range when you're working on run and gun types of shoots. Surprise, we also have the FX Lion battery, which is honestly just the V-mount battery that I've been using for years. And there you have it. That's pretty much the kit that I'm gonna put on my shoulder rigged mount. So I'm gonna use a Manfrotto side of the plate that's gonna go on my shoulder rig and pretty much I'm ready to go and I'm ready to shoot. Now you actually might be wondering what I'm gonna do with this thing. And this is the side handle for the Sony FX6 in order for me to control my record button and the joysticks on there as well. And there's actually a custom button like right below here which I actually haven't mapped to anything yet, and if you guys do, leave a comment down below. But what I'm going to do is actually use one of the only accessories that isn't Tilta branded in this video, and it's actually going to be the small rig adapter kit for the Sony FX6 side handle to go into an Ari Rosette mount. Now, I really wish Tilta has made one of these to keep everything compact in the shoulder mounting kit, but you can't have everything. And then anything after that to get my monitor onto there, I'm obviously going to be using this Tilta articulating arm that's gonna go on the quarter 20 mounting point that's actually on the Ari Rosette arm for the shoulder kit. 
And honestly, I'm just gonna use my Atomos Ninja 5 in order for me to monitor my image. It's pretty trusty, it really hasn't steered me wrong, and if I wanna shoot in ProRes RAW, I absolutely can. Not recommended, it's a little bit overkill, but eh, if you want to, different strokes for different folks. So I did actually get a chance to use this in a real life situation, and I shot a commercial film all by myself, and you can check out that video with a link on the screen. Now I did find overall using this was incredibly comfortable, and it did actually force me to use a different perspective and get slightly different shots that I would normally do if I was shooting in handheld. One of the big things I really like about this is its modularity. I could add different attachments on the quarter 20 threads, and at the same time, it has a quick release so I could go into tripod mode if I need to making this a perfect device if you want to use it for documentary filmmaking, which is something that I'm trying to get myself more and more into. All right, so with everything built out, this is going to be the shoulder mount rig for the Sony FX6. And in terms of the operation, this is pretty much as ergonomic as I would possibly want it to be. Now, that doesn't negate the fact that you're going to have a big weight on your shoulder, but with a comfortable pad, it doesn't hurt as much. And also, I'd rather have the weight on my shoulder where I could use both hands rather than having to use my back all the time. Now, some of you guys might be wondering why I didn't actually put a viewfinder on the LCD monitor for the Sony FX6. And to be honest, this is just, I know myself enough that I need peripheral vision. If you haven't seen a lot of the stuff on this channel, I've actually broken a ton of things and I've scuffed a ton of stuff, including my walls and my own camera kit. If I can get just a little bit more peripheral vision to make sure I don't bump into stuff, then I'm probably gonna take that chance rather than messing up another top handle. And to be completely honest, monitoring the image through my Atomos Ninja 5 is more than enough for me. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or at the very least you guys learned something and leave a comment down below because this is the first time I've actually used a shoulder mount kit. What are some of the ways that you guys use this in your workflow? All the links are in the description down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.